Dad, yeah. What would you say if I said to you, mm -hmm. bike trip, Nova Scotia? No, bike trip, Nova Scotia. Well, yeah. How would we get to Nova Scotia? A bike trip. <laughs> I don't mind going going on a bike trip and having Nova Scotia even as our as our goal, right? Uh, as our destination, but. As long as we agree with each other not to be disappointed if we don't leave the city limits. What if I just make a sign entering Nova Scotia and you ride by? Tell me again why we need to do this. Dad, we need a weekend to ourselves, you know? We need to get away from the grind. And what grind? What about a fly fishing weekend? You, you always said you wanted to do that. It's at a stream yeah. in the mountains. Right. We, we camp out. There's a guide who, who guides us. Is there plumbing? You just hold it. Yeah, but what if you gotta go? Hold when you it. gotta go, you gotta go. Where do you think the animals go? Yeah, that's true. Let me rephrase that question. Where do you think the animals go? Oh, do you actually want me to answer that? Well, I'm not... You know, I've often wondered about that because, you know, in the city is littered with dog poop. Uh, yeah, I know. But you get into the wilderness and you never see any uh, animal droppings or animal corpses. Have you ever been to the wilderness? I've seen footage. Well, you just can't see it in the footage. They, they take it out. Oh, you think they touch it up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, let's go to one of those places that have already been touched up. Let's just watch a nature film and get it, this over with. Yeah, but your mother and I, on our honeymoon, I wanted to go to, to a resort hotel and just sort of get pampered. Right. Your mother wanted to go camping. So you got divorced. No, I don't. So we went, we went camping in the Catskills, in the Catskill Mountains. Right. Three in the morning, I hear a rustling in the, in the woods, and, uh, you know, she's scared. I stick my head out of the tent. It's Shecky Green. Well, Dad, if we take a trip, I just don't think it's worth it to take a comfortable trip. I think we should be miserable. You know, we should get out there and we should you take know, a... You know, you can do sort of a... Uh... I mean, when's the last time you took a trip that required you to challenge yourself? Well, when we went on that um, walk for the Heart-Lung Association. That wasn't really a trip. That was a... Well... It, it was, was a walk. Yeah, but it was, it was a good hunk of the day. And I guess we did go through the woods at one part. You know, the toughest guy in the block happens to be Mother Nature. I don't care what anyone says. She can kick our asses any time she wants. That is so true. You know, the, the things you discover about yourself and each other when you're pitted against great odds. Uh, exactly. And I'm talking about the wilderness. I'm talking about survival, really. You know, Dad, yeah. the thing about getting out into the, uh, the great outdoors mm -hmm. is that I think you learn a lot about yourself. And I think we'd learn a lot about each other. Yeah, I think that's what I just said, isn't it? Yeah. No, but I look, I'm not resisting the idea. I'm just saying that, that there's, a, there's a way to do this carefully and to plan it so that we don't find ourselves... Dad, we get on... You ever hear the expression, withered corpses? No. Well, that could be the lead line on a story about you and me <laughs> if we don't play this thing right. Who do you think would last longer if we got stuck in the wilderness? Me or you? You know, wow. I figured it out, and I can live off my own body fat for three and a half years. Go. You make me, uh, you make me open up. Uh, I feel loose with you. Well, you that's know? that's good, Don. I that's feel good. close to you. That's well, that's the whole idea. That's yeah. I feel yeah. you. Make, you make me feel like a, a whole person. Yeah. Can yeah. you want to sit down for a second? Uh, yeah. I appreciate your enthusiasm. It would help me. I I need to keep some kind of perspective on your problems. At least uh, so these six feet help me with the between here and the couch. Well, what you tell me is you need more space. That's all I'm saying. Oh. Just a little more space. So the help. couch back to the... Back to the couch. It's not, don't think of it as a setback, you know? Well, that's the way I'm looking at it. You just had me open it up now, and now you want me to close down again. No, I don't want you to close down. I just wanted to open up from there. Oh. Did you get that, that seafood salad downstairs? It smells like... Yeah, you, you could tell. Well, you, you develop... A, it's like a... I was going to say a sixth sense, but it really is it's the sense of smell I'm talking about. Oh. One of the old senses. Yeah. One of the original. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, they're great, aren't they? Yeah. Maybe we should do this uh, before lunch next time. I know it's painful, but you don't talk about your, your family at all. I mean, just anything would help. I mean, you grew up with a big family. You have brothers and sisters. Yeah, that's usually if you have a big family. That's, what, that's, the, that's, main, part that's of the, the two deal. main sources, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Were your parents affectionate with each other, Don? Well, we had a big family, so you got to figure at least those few times they were. There was no outward signs of affection, yeah. no. Uh, high five here and there, you know. Your father take you to the ball game once in a while? Yeah, but never, never, never take us back. He'd take us to the game and, and then leave. Yeah. That was the bad part, yeah. Do you still, you're still in touch with your siblings? <sighs> uh, well, I, I don't know. We, we communicate, but mostly by rumor. It's, uh, I don't know, it was always so crowded. It was an Irish background. Everybody lived together. My, my grandmother lived with us right to the end. Mm -hmm. 
God bless her. She didn't die. We just went, get the hell out. I get pulled over by the police a lot. Why is that, then? Uh, I, a lot of times I like to sit in the back when I'm driving. See, that's a red flag for these troopers. Have you ever been pulled over by the police and you didn't think they were pulling you over? Sure, I've had that experience. Yeah, I mean, you know, you you hear the siren, you, you see the light, and you're with somebody else, and normally you go, <laughs> somebody's in trouble. And, and then I went, Ugh, it's us. Okay, let me get out. I'll talk to you. I'm good at this. Here, hold, hold my drink. Well, you know, Don, if you get your, you could get your license revoked, you know? I have had it revoked. You mean get it back? So you, you have a driving record then? Well, I'm not, a, I'm not a particularly good driver, I'll admit that. Last year, I was in uh, 11 accidents. I came in fifth in the state. Mm -hmm. A lot of them were not my fault, I don't feel. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't pay any attention to driving. I, I read. Yeah, so you don't really feel responsible for, for most of these accidents? No. Uh, for instance? Uh, oh, last year, I hit a guy. He was in his uh, living room. We've all done things we're not proud of, Don. And, uh, you know, this is a strictly confidential situation here. There's nothing you can't tell me. Hmm. So please don't, uh, don't feel like you need to hold back. I robbed a bank once. Holy! I'm not proud of it, but I can tell you now. And, well, I was, actually, it was a cry for help, too. I wanted to get recognized, and so I did it from the drive-up window. I figured even if it was not successful, it should make the papers. Right. And I was serious about it. I rented a gun. Mm-hmm. And I'm in the line, and I, and I wrote a note. I said, I have a gun. Give me all of your money. And finally, it was my turn. That drawer opened. I put the note and, and the gun in the drawer. How'd it work? Dr. Katz's office. Laura. Hmm. How are you? It's Ben. Yeah. What are you up to this weekend? Are you uh, busy? Or are you uh, yes. just relaxing? You're getting... Busy. What do you usually do on the weekends? Um, I'm busy. Really? Yeah. How do you keep yourself occupied? Um, I... I what just... do I do? <laughs> So I'm glad you asked because uh, I like to uh, go, you know, get out, go, just go out there into the uh, wilderness. And... Really? Okay, great. So I'll talk to you later. Actually, um, <sighs> my dad and I, we're going away together. You know, it's been a while since we've had a family trip, and I decided, hey, you know, we should go away again. Terrific. You know, not just a typical family trip. I, I figured we could go, you know, somewhere different, make it interesting, go to like um, up north. Yeah. Just go north. Keep driving till we hit the ocean. The Arctic Ocean? We're going to go hiking. We're going to climb up and then fall down. We're going to hurt ourselves. We're going to get helicoptered to a hospital on one of those red cross things, you know. With the, oh, you're strapped great. and you can't move and the guy's panicking. <laughs> like, don't move your neck. And we're going to be like, I move my neck. I was thinking last night, I was lying in bed thinking, that yeah. wouldn't it be fun mm -hmm. to just go to the airport, travel light, pick any city, you know, just a, like a fun city and spend the weekend there, check into a really nice hotel, yeah, but Dad, I'm room gonna... service, SpectraVision. Dad, didn't we have this discussion, though, that we, we weren't going to go to a city, we were going to go to the wilderness? What is that called, that dessert, something brulee? Creme brulee. Creme brulee, sent up to the room. We could go to a city. And the, and the weird thing is, I'd like to go to some city that's not a city that most people associate with a vacation, someplace like well, Pitts, Pittsburgh. You know or, what? I, I did read in a magazine, there was the 10 worst cities in America. Mm -hmm. And if we go to one of those... Well, yeah. that's what that's what I'm thinking. You go to a city like Bridgeport, which is a depressed city. Exactly. And they would go crazy if they saw some American money. Yeah. I was thinking this would be fun every uh -huh. year. Yeah. And we get to see the country, we go to a different state capital. All right, you know? all right. That's a good idea. You know what the, st the, what the capital of New York State is? Uh, New York City. No, that's what most people think. It's Albany. Albany, New York, a place I've always wanted to visit. Albany. The capital of Nebraska, I think, is Cedar Bluffs. Man, I don't want to travel with you. You're the most boring man alive. Because we have 30,000 frequent flyer miles. Really? Yeah. So we get a free domestic? or A free domestic. Free domestic flight. No, we get a free domestic well, t I'm talking about some household help. That's illegal. <laughs> yeah. No, we we can get um we can get either one free trip, round trip, right? Or we can each get upgraded to first class, but we can't get home. You know, it'd be kind of cute. What's that? Going to Cuba. Okay. I would just like to yank on that beard of his one time. Who are you talking about? Castro. Oh, don't mention his name in this house. 
Dr. Katz's office. Hey, Laura, it's me, Benjamin Daniel Katz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or should I say Benjamin Daniel Boone Katz? No, you shouldn't say that. Well, listen, I just called to ask if I could borrow... Do you have a video camera? Yeah, I do. Because we are going on this trip. Oh, it's going to be amazing, though. You're not going to want to miss all this stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to be eating nuts, berries, plants, herbs. I'm going to be pooing green. It doesn't sound very safe. Well, you know, we can take care of ourselves. I meant for the camera. Hey, Laura, you know, uh, after this trip, you know, it's going to be a full weekend. Uh, you've never seen me with a, uh, with a two-day growth, have you? My hair will be all mussy. My clothes are going to be all tattered. You know, from the hunt. Wow, sounds great. Yeah. You know what? Take the camera. Really? It's got to be worth at least, you know, one good guffaw. I think I am ready to assume my place in, in nature as, uh, as one of the animal kingdom. Where exactly do you fall in the food chain? Well, I'll eat anything. That's what you mean. I feel bad for women. I mean, they're constantly bombarded with these stupid commercials. Uh, Susie, how could you work eight hours a day and look so young and fresh and vibrant? Stay free maxi pads. Yeah. Do you hear the question I just asked you? Hey, Laura. Hi. Now tell me what you think. Do you think I come by too much, or do you think I call too often? Mmm. Or both? Both. Both. I was going to say both, too. Anyway, I'm here. Yep. I'm here to, uh, to pick up the camera. This is it? This is it. Jeez, I thought it would be bigger. No. Was this like a bad one or something? No. This is like a little nothing. How much did you pay for this? $800. $800 for this? Yeah. For this little thing? Yeah. Looks like it came out of a candy machine. Can I show you how it works? Um, I'll figure it out. Just let me show you. No, I've, I've worked these before, so I know, you know, I know basically how to, to do it. Here we go. Hello, what? Laura. Say hello. Ben. Say some more. Say something interesting. Like, say something like that would be worth being put on tape. Go ahead. Laura? Ben? I'm right on you. Wait, hold on. Let me zoom in here. Holy God! That's too close. Oh, Ben. Please, just take it and go. Let me get a better angle here. You're late again today, Don. Is there a reason for it? I, uh, I, I, I'm not even sure if I need to be here at all, so... Well, you, you're here, you're, you made an appointment with me, and you showed up 25 minutes late. Right, well, I went to see a, 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 a shrink on the way in. A second opinion kind of thing? Actually, he figured his would be the first opinion, and you would be the second. Well, that's, that's adding insult to injury. That's like putting salt on an open wound. Any other cliches you might want to throw my way? That's like, I, I was going to say it's like a stitch in time, but that doesn't apply. No, it does not. But... Let's bury the hatchet. Okay. Okay, Ben, let me just remind you, though, that, you know, not everything is interesting to watch. I mean, you don't want to just tape everything. There's the Mr. Coat Rack. <sighs> I mean, that's the first thing that people do when they get a video camera is they just, they tape everything, and, and they There's don't realize it. the corner it's... of the room. And, and, and they narrate it, which is that really the baffles me, like, as though people wouldn't Panning know out? by looking. Panning in. Panning out. <sighs> Panning in. <sighs> It's all out of focus here. Wait, hold on a second. And focus. Ben. And there's the plant. I, you know, if you guys want to do something really exciting, I think you should go to a spa for a weekend. But isn't that, isn't that where you just get pampered? N not necessarily. I mean, not, not that I, I'm not up for a good pamper. Yeah, well, it's... One, one of the things they do at the, the spas is they... Yeah. I think, they, I think they give you a morning massage and an evening massage. Do you get massaged by uh, a masseuse or a mas mishigi, a uh, man or a woman? Well, that's the thing. I always feel slightly sleazy saying, and can you make sure that the masseuse is a woman, you know? You yeah. always say that? That's, yeah. You always request that? I always request, mm. request a woman because I'm not that's comfortable uh, being massaged by a man. Yeah. Uh, I think they call it, oh, homo massage, massage homophobo. Yeah. No, it has nothing um, to do with homophobia. No? It's just fear of being touched by a man. No, well, that's homophobia. Oh. I didn't realize this couch opens up all these years. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know? But this is fun, lying in bed on our own couch. It was not exactly the uh, the wild weekend I pictured. 
You know? Yeah. It's going to get wild, though. When we try to close this thing up, though, it's going to get wild. Well, you know what I me. say we do? We'll sleep on it. When's no. the last time you slept in the living room? When you had your tonsils removed, because I couldn't stand the crying. Right. I, I just wish we were the, the type of people who could get out there and experience the, uh, the outdoors, you know? Yeah. As opposed to what we're doing here. You well... Know? I, we shouldn't rule that out, you know. We we just just because we weren't those kind of people this weekend, last weekend, right? And every weekend before that doesn't mean doesn't mean we're not going to become those kind of people. Yeah, so we have to work our way up to it. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. So, you thinking what I'm thinking? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You betcha. Order more food. Salsa, please. <laughs> Pass it. You know what? Ah, oh, Dad, let's eat till we die. <laughs> Whichever happens first. Yeah, I'm willing to try. Hey, Dad, you know when when we watch. Yeah. The videotape I made of us sitting around here tonight, mm -hmm. 30 years from now. Yeah. It's going to be great memories. Ugh. You know? God, why wait? Yeah. Hey, food fight? Seriously? What the hell? The place is a dump anyway. <laughs> you clean up. No, Grace is coming in tomorrow. All right, food fight. I have a friend that scuba dives. He goes, oh, you know what you're supposed to do if a shark's bothering you? Bothering? This guy needs to look in a thesaurus. You know, it really bothers me when you shear my legs off at the hips. Mm hmm I find it very bothersome to get back to shore without my legs. Right. He says that when the shark's bothering you, you just punch him in the face. Yeah, and when that doesn't work, you poke him in the eye with your stump. Mm. Punch a shark. What if he wasn't even going to attack you? What if he's just curious and he's swimming by and you go... Pew, pew, pew. Hey, what was that for? I thought you were going to attack me. Yeah, I'm going to now. I was going to let you go, but the other sharks are watching. It doesn't look good now. You know what really bugs me about plane crashes? What's that? When you watch the news and they say that people have to be identified by their dental records. Uh -huh. Well, if they don't know who you are, how do they know who your dentist is? Right, right. I saw a crash on CNN. This Piper Cub crashed in the field and the news guy's standing out there and he said, uh, the plane crashed over here, decapitated the pilot. He's apparently dead. Yeah, you want to double check? And maybe the head's still alive by itself. Like it's going to be going, Psst, over here behind the bush. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I can't feel my legs. I saw an ad for a Time Life book. A guy jumped out of an airplane, fell 30,000 feet, his chute didn't open, and he lived to tell the story. Hmm. Yeah, I would have loved to hear that story. I jumped out of the plane, and his chute didn't open. I what made you decide to go on a diet? I realized I was not in shape. Yeah. Uh, I realized that when I get winded in an elevator. That's a bad sign. Yeah. I mean, you don't gain all the weight in one day. Like, there's indications. If, you're, if your socks are tight, that's not a good sign. Mm-hmm. Uh... I gotta be honest, I realized I had a pot back, and that, that was bad, you know? Yeah. You try to stay in shape? You exercise? I tried lifting weights, you know, but mm -hmm. I'm going, boy, these are heavy. Yeah. So, uh... There should be a warning on them. Yeah. I think there should be. But I'll tell you one thing, you look, you look healthy. I don't, maybe you, maybe some of your habits are not good, good but you must be doing something right. I'm trying, trying, Doc. I'm, um, I'm now, I'm a vegetarian now. Good for you. Yeah. I eat meat, too, but... Well, that's good. Hi, Laura. Hi. How you doing? Fine. How was the weekend? Um, it uh, wasn't as uh, as wild as that as oh, really? uh, I'd expected. Probably as wild as I expected. <laughs> well, you got me. Uh, you know the part about going away. Right. We didn't do that. Um. But we stayed in. Mm-hmm. And uh, I videotaped some stuff. It's all on there. And uh, I also dubbed off twelve hours of British television. Great. You know, even though I did, didn't take a trip, Laura, I did, I did learn a lot this weekend. What was that? If I spend another second with my dad, <laughs> I'm going to explode. No, Don, this is great. This was really a good great. session. Great. better than great. You don't know what you've done for me. Well, I'm getting a sense of it. Well, I'm telling you, you, I, you actually have done a lot for me. I, I don't really shake hands with my patients, but you got a good grip, you know? Yeah. You know, uh, can I have that back now? All right. Well, I gotta, I'm telling you, I really appreciate it. Okay. And thanks. I'll be putting this in my pocket now if you're done with it. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. Yeah. Sometimes I forget that I'm holding your hand. Yeah. But you know what? Now it's time to let go and uh, just move on. Because you, I know you don't like to hear this, but I'm seeing other patients. Ooh. And 
you know, this is a, this is a problem with us. You have to get used to that notion. So that reaching out and touching someone is... Well, you're hurting me. Oh. Dr. Katz? Yeah? I'm gonna need a few hours off this afternoon. Is, is everything okay? Because, Laura, you've really been taking a lot of time off this week. I'm sensing that, that there's something going I'm on. I'm fine. Here. You know that I'm always here for you? You realize that, don't you? You're not always here, but I'm always here. I, I don't need no, any... No, I just think it's, Dr. It's, Katz? it's unfair of you not to offer an explanation. Well, I need it. Laura, this is the third time this week that you've asked me for time off in the afternoon. Are you counting tomorrow? Well, no, I guess not. I don't like uh, holidays with my family. Why is that, Mark? I just don't. Um, because, you know, you just got to be polite to them. Mm -hmm. It doesn't last very long. Ever just trying to be so polite, you yawn inside your mouth? Yeah. You know, you're just listening to a story. Oh, yeah? Uh, you did what? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Dr. Katz's office. Man alive. Laura. Yeah? What in God's name were you doing yesterday? I was out. What do you mean you were out? What kind of chop shop are you running? Yesterday I, I tried for three hours to get through, but I'll... Yeah, so what do you First want? First of all, where, where are you going in the middle of the, a work day? <sighs> we don't live in the tropics. You can't just do what you want. We're not in some equatorial country where you can work anytime you want, go to the beach, have a rum drink. We're in America, baby. That means you put in an eight-hour work day. Then you have a rum drink. <sighs> oh, this past Thanksgiving, I just can't... I can barely get through things like that. My aunt yeah. was all upset because we didn't use real whipped cream. We used this cream whip or something like that. It's really whipped topping that you keep in the fridge. Yep. I noticed on the bowl of this cream whip, it says, any questions or comments about our product, call this number. And I'm thinking, who's the guy that answers this phone? He's the cream whip hotline guy. First of all, how busy can this guy get, you know? Well, hello, cream whip. Uh-huh. Just one sec. Could you hold, please? Okay, cream whip. Can I put you on hold for just a second? Just, cream whip, just one sec. Is John back from his break yet? You know, this is important, Laura. You know, I need to have an open line with my father at all times, you know, like the bat phone or the red phone in the White House. And I pick up the phone, I say, Dad? He says, what? I don't even want to hear a dial tone. So what do you want? What if I fell, hmm? Or what if I got up, but then I fell again? Don't you two talk at home? Occasionally. Hey, where did you uh, go yesterday afternoon anyway? Where do you... Oh, to none of your business? Oh, that's very funny. Uh, I don't think I can go in traffic anymore. Why? I just can't deal with those drivers. I don't know why it is, but when I pass the slow drivers, I have to look at them. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what I'm looking for. Like their face will give me the answer. Oh, it's Mr. Magoo. Well, I don't know why I look at the slow drivers. They all have that same look on their face that... oh. I am not confident behind the wheel. <laughs> this is hard. I usually sit in that chair. You're doing very well. Hey, Dad, pass the dip, will you? Yep. Pass the other dip. You know, you can get sick mixing dips, Ben. That's not true. That's It's alcohol that you get sick when you mix. Well, I can get sick watching you mix dips. I think that's what I meant. Hey, Dad, I, uh, I spoke to Laura today. Oh, that's a shocker. And uh, she seems to be out of the office. Yeah. And you didn't tell me. I should be filled in. How did she sound to you when you spoke to her? Well, you know, I asked her where she was, and she was pretty tight-lipped about uh, giving me an answer. 
Well, is there something going on? Is she? Uh, I, I think she okay. I think this is that there is that she's going through some kind of personal crisis. She it's clear to me that she needs to, and she even used this phrase to sort some things out. That uh, sounds serious, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's not good. You know what that means when someone says I'm sorting a few things out. You know what well, that means. It I, means uh, they're dying. No, that's getting their affairs in order, Ben. That's different. Oh, right. Yeah. Sounds like there's something, uh, you know, serious going on at the mm -hmm. office, and I yeah. would, you know, I would certainly take a little time out of my schedule to, uh, you know, maybe investigate what's going on. I mean, if you were me. What, what do you mean? I'm saying I don't think it's a good idea for you to get involved. It's a very sensitive area. Well, I mean, if there's anybody who can uh, find out what's going on, it's it's definitely me. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot who I was talking to. Yeah. Undercover Ben. Dad, I'm going to find out what our little Miss Can't Be Wrong is up to. Huh? Do a little investigating. Ben, I don't want you to do anything. You know, maybe it's uh, running guns to Mexico. I don't think she can do that on her lunch hour. Well, why don't you start guessing, you know? I mean, why do I have to look stupid all the time? I just really don't have a clue. Oh, my God, she's my sister. Do you mind? Oh, hello, Bill. Oh, hey, give me that back. Please let me have that back. Give it to me. Look, I, I promise not to use it if you give it back to me. Well... I, I promise. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. That was an accident. I really didn't mean to do that. I just touched it. I'm really sorry. Oh, whoops. I'm really... I'm just not... I don't really mean to be... Oh, boy. I'm really... Oh. Just go. I'm not doing it myself. Dr. Katz's office. Oh, Laura. Mm-hmm. Is this you? Yes, it is. Wow, you're you're live. You're sitting there. Is this I'm really talking to you on the Yes, oh. I am. Yes, wow. that's right. I'm glad I got you while you were in. Oh, well, good for you. What a shock. <laughs> you figure these days, why would you even go to work, right? Don't matter, does it? Let it all hang out, baby. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you don't uh, care about responsibilities, right? You're all free. That's right. So you, uh, are you going to stay in today, or are you going to... Uh, well, I'll be in, yeah. and um, then I'll be going out. Are you going to be uh, leaving this afternoon? Yes, that's right, Ben. Like, sort of like yesterday afternoon. Sort of. Huh. It's a work day. Right. So why wouldn't you leave? Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Um, where would you go, hypothetically? <laughs> to the zoo, or...? Any number of places. But do you have one specific place you've been going to in the afternoon? Oh, uh, yes, actually, I do. Really? Yeah. That's funny. Does it uh, begin with a P? As in visiting a relative at the penitentiary? Uh... Huh? No. Does it begin with a D, as in doing things that are illegal? Mm, no. Does it begin with a CH, as in, uh, I'm sorry, a PH? <laughs> I'm sorry, a PSCH. PSCH? I don't know how to spell this word. What's, go what's going on with you and your brother now? Oh, Alan? Yeah. Uh, nothing much. Just the fact that he's older than me still plagues me. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping to catch up someday. Yeah. Yeah. How come whenever I mention your brother, you start sweating? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, just a second. You know what I don't like? I don't like this game run. I don't think this is... Hello? Yeah, he's um, at the doctor again. No, not hair. I'm at the, the head thing. Yeah. Okay, get... Mm-hmm. All right, I'll tell him. Okay, bye. Who was that pretend call from? That wasn't a pretend call. That was... Um... Um, Ron. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, Ron. Ha, 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 ha. Laura, why yeah. don't we do this? Why don't we play a game? You like games, don't you? No. Of course you do. Of course you love them. Everybody loves games. That's why they're called games. Let's play a game that, uh, that I love to play called uh, Guess Where I Went This Afternoon. Oh, okay. That's that a fun, fun game. Yeah. yeah, it is a lot of fun. Okay. So you, you go ahead and start. And... Okay. No. Nowhere? Well, I have to ask first. Okay. So guess where I went this afternoon? Um, nowhere. Okay, you win. Now you ask me. Okay, Ben. Uh huh. Guess where I went this afternoon? Guess where? Guess where I went this? Afternoon. Man, this game sucks. <laughs> this is something my colleagues would probably. F 
Run, just let it ring. That At least that would be a step in the right direction, you know? Yeah, but how do I... I don't know who it is. Just ignore it. See if you can do that tip for me. Would you do that? All right. Hi, I can't come to the phone right now. Please leave a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Oh, they must have hung up. Hmm. Well, I think you've taken that game as far as you can run. Hmm. You know? I don't know. I don't think so. Hello, is this Dr. Cat? Hi, Ben. I disguised my voice so Laura wouldn't recognize me. Yeah. Listen, Dad, I'm in a phone booth outside the building, and uh, I don't mind telling you, it reeks. What I need to know is Laura's uh, HQ, not to mention her DOD. I have no idea what you're talking about, Ben. Yeah, Dad, I can't get into this right now because I'm staked out outside. Yeah, well, that's okay. So let's go through this quickly. Because I can't get into it either because I'm an adult. Right. Why does that prevent you from getting into it? Because uh, I don't like spy games the way you do. Would it help if I just talk normally? Might. All right. Now, how are you, Ben? I'm fine. How are you, Dad? Let's get down to business. <laughs> okay. Where is Laura right now? Because I am outside. So when she goes out this yeah. afternoon, mm -hmm. I will be able to, what they call in my business, tail her. See, I, uh, this is not a good idea, and I'll tell you why. Dad, I can handle myself out here, you know? I mean, the, the streets are my friend. Yeah. You know? I mean, this is where I live. I, I just meld in, you know? Uh -huh. I'm a melder, Dad. I mean, I... That's... Yeah, I can see you melding. I'm waving to you right now, Ben. Look up. Higher, to your left. No. Yeah. Yep. Oh, hey. Yeah. Is that you? Not only are you melding, you're also waving now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I sort of blew right. my cover right there. Yeah, wait, let me see if Laura wants a wave. No, 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 Dad, don't do that. Yeah. Okay, so I don't meld well. But that's, you know, that's not everything. How many fingers am I holding up right now? You're holding up three fingers. Damn. Yeah. How many fingers am I holding up now? Read between the lines. Hmm. Hmm? Do you want me to turn it up for you? Dad? Ben? Dad, don't use our real names. All right, now start again. Dad? Men? God, you're dumb. <laughs> All right, whatever. Just a status report? Mm-hmm. How's it going? Lost her. Okay. Well, let me tell you what happened. I, I followed her to the bank. Uh-huh. She went in the bank, mm -hmm. and um, I couldn't wait. What do you mean you couldn't wait? Well, I sort of got hungry, and she was in there for a while. The line was a mile long. Do you understand how this whole tailing thing works, Ben? I mean, maybe I messed up this time, but, uh, you know... Next time, I'm gonna stick to her like, like, um, you know... Like... Like something, a sticky substance? Yes, would. yes, like a yeah. very sticky substance. Mm -hmm. When I was following Laura... Yeah. And I realized a whole nother conspiracy going on. Mm-hmm. You know the bakery? Yeah. Lenzios? Mm-hmm. I get the feeling they pump out odors... Right, they're, they're exhaust vent. Yeah, well, not quite their exhaust vent, mm -hmm. but they vent out fumes which make you go in and buy baked goods. I never trusted them. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is... I got you a dozen crawlers. Hi, uh, I'm here, uh, Rich Richard Lewis. I'm here to see Dr. Katz. Good. Why don't you take a seat? Uh, listen, Laura, uh... I, I mean, not that I want to move furniture around or anything, but I sort of feel like you're, you you sit pretty close to, you know, the office, and not that you should move the Are desk. Are you afraid that I'm going to hear about your problem? Well, if it was just one, I'd be a lucky man. <sighs> we haven't started our session yet, have we? Well, technically, the minute you walk in here, you're on the clock. Oh. I mean, if something happens that makes you feel better on your way into the room, that's part of the session, too. Um, I can tell you anything, can I? As long as it's not personal. I, I have a feeling you're going to want me as a regular patient. Well, you are a regular patient, Richard. I, I mean, do you know something I don't know? Yeah, I do. Why is that? Trust me. Mm -hmm. I, I guess I'm screwed up, man. You know? My my Uncle Phil passed away. He used to make uh, home movies and edit out the joy. Mm -hmm. Those are our family movies. Well, you see, and I have them. Well, that, that, that's... I don't let you talk much because I'm always afraid to hear what you're going to say to me. You, you know, you're you're sort of an intellectual, aren't you, Dr. Katz? No, I'm a, I'm more of a pseudo-intellectual. Maybe that's a problem I have with you. I, I miss my other therapist because I used to get, like, a hug 
a lot, you know? Yeah, that's not going to happen here. God, you're in a bad mood today, Dr. Katz, aren't you? No, I'm not, I'm not in a bad mood. I think maybe you're projecting your mood onto me. Because you're not, like, you're cutting me off. Isn't that weird? Well, remember what you said to me last time. What? I, I said so many things to you. You don't like to confide in me. <laughs> that's true. You know, but here's the problem I have, Dr. Katz. I don't know whether I'm being truthful with you or trying to get you to laugh. Well, geez, I hope it's not the latter. Wait, wh wh which was the latter? You know, you have all the classic symptoms of a hypochondriac. I, you know, I, I am a hypochondriac. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I got it from my grandparents, really, basically. They, uh, my grandmother, she, uh, she knitted her suicide note. I doubt it. Which was really a tragic thing. We didn't know what she was doing. Yeah. She also used to collect uh, antique dolls with colitis. Well, those are going to be worth something someday. Young polar bear comes home from school. True story. Uh -huh. <laughs> now I have to I have to tell you this joke. Young polar bear comes home from school, mm -hmm. and he says, "Mother, am I really a polar bear?" She says, "Of course, you're a polar bear." And I go to bed. He comes home the next day. He says, "Dad, are you and mom really, really polar bears?" The father says, "What are you talking about? Good night." This goes on for weeks, for months. Were your parents polar bears? Were their parents polar bears? Am I in fact a purebred polar bear? The father finally says, "Enough." Why do you keep asking us these questions? She says, "Because I am freezing." <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a great joke. He was cold. <laughs> the bear, he was cold. Yeah, that's all that was right, going yeah, on. Right, yeah, that was it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Laura, can I ask you something? Yeah? Are you planning on leaving? Yeah, two hours early. No, 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 no. That's not, that's not what I mean. I mean, are you planning on, you know, leaving this job, on quitting this job? Would you still pay me? No. Then no. Why do you think I'm leaving? I don't know. It seems like there's something going on that you're clearly not comfortable talking to me about. Dr. Katz, I'm not going to leave this job until I find a better one. Well, that's sweet of you to, to say that, Laura, because I really was worried. Huh. So what are you doing out there? I mean... I'm sure there's an explanation. Maybe it's none of my business, but I, I feel like I'm entitled to an explanation. Well, I'll tell you, Dr. Katz. Yeah. I've been going to traffic school. Well, why didn't you say something? Well, because it's embarrassing. Why is it embarrassing? I was sentenced to traffic school just for going fast. Yeah. Or... Well, Laura, I, I mean, I'm glad you're staying. I'm going to need all the afternoons off next week, too. More tickets? No, I just sort of have come to like having my afternoons off. <laughs> That's a good one, Laura. <laughs> okay. Well, the last time I went there was, was to get my license renewed, and what they're doing now is group photos. Dad. Yeah. Take a look at Ben. Huh? Yeah, I don't have to look this at you. This is what it's all about, baby. Yeah, I, I, I just, why don't you leave the, your clothes. I stink. Why don't you leave your clothes in the hall and get in the shower immediately, Ben? Dad, you know what? Burn I, every time. No, no, I don't do that. I wait. I want to relish this moment. Were you in a food fight or something? No, Dad, I was in a dumpster. I was, uh, I was on yeah. the job. You know, I was investigating in a dumpster. Yeah. I mean, that's, I was in, actually, I was in Laura's dumpster. Aha. Uh -huh. Going through some of, uh, her trash. Well, I'm not quite sure it was hers because it was her buildings. And I didn't really find anything specific to Laura mm -hmm. except for some skim milk, which I assume she does drink. Yeah. So I was in there for about a half hour. Mm -hmm. And uh, about 30 minutes went by, and then I realized I'm in a bunch of garbage and, uh, and I gotta get the hell out of here. I'm not saying that all this investigative work was for nothing. What do you mean? You know, it turns out she's been going to traffic school. She's had a bunch of tickets and she was required to go... But I thought she had to sort a few things out. Well, she just, she was embarrassed. She didn't, she didn't want me to think that she was a bad driver. You're kidding. Well, why, why did she say she had to sort a few things out? I mean, why didn't she just say I was going to traffic school? Like I said, she was embarrassed. Well, how did you find out? I asked her. Seriously? Yeah. God, I suck at this. You know, I was with my high school friends the other day, and uh, it kind of made me sad that we can't do what we did in high school. Like, now you have to be really polite to people, you know, as an adult. You're expected to, hey, how was your weekend? Like, I care. Uh-huh, well, that's good. Yeah, good. That's nice. Yeah. 
You know, when you were in high school, you saw something in the hallway. You didn't have to stop and chit chat. All you had to do was this. Right. That's it. A little nod. That was that was a whole greeting. You were done with that person. You know, two people walk by. You know, they say men aren't supposed to cry. Mm -hmm. I mean, I saw bridges in Madison County, and you know, they fell in love, and everything was good. And then they realized they shouldn't be shouldn't be together, and they break up, and then the real husband comes back. And he's waiting behind Clint Eastwood in the truck. And it's raining because everything bad happens in the rain. And the light turns green, but Clint doesn't move. And the guy's like, boo-boo, today, boo-boo, today, you know. And um, the husband says, what's he waiting for? He's waiting for her. Hey, you want a, want a tissue? Can I have a minute, please? Hello, Dr. Katz? Yeah. How are you doing today? I'm good. Is is this Ron? Yes, it is. Uh, where's Laura? Um, she's not here. What are you doing there? Nothing much. I'm uh, out here in the waiting room. Why don't you come on in? Uh, I don't have to come in. Uh, this is okay. Yeah, I think I think that would be better if you came in. Can we talk on this for just a little while? I rushed over here. Yeah. And uh, I thought I feel so much better now. I'm at Doctor Katz's office, and he'll help me out. Yeah. See, I think that's the problem. I don't think you feel safe in here at all. You wouldn't bring all this stuff. Really? In fact, I, I'm I'm tempted to hang on to those things, Ron, until we're done with the session. How just would... let me just let me hold on to some of these things until uh, the end of the uh, session, and, uh, I'll, uh, uh, and uh, I'll give them back to you, Ron. Um, <laughs> Let's just be me and you and, uh, and whatever you're thinking, you know. Zoom. <laughs> it's kind of hard to think without the stuff, though. Blink, blink, blink. <laughs> I'm sorry. I. It's not going that well, is it? Yep, come on, that one too, Ron. Really? Whoops, you know what the music means. Our time is up. Wow.